Since 2003, Iraq has been consistently in the headlines. The recent fight between Iraqi forces and ISIL, as well as their inclusion and then their removal from President Donald Trump's travel ban, has pushed the war-torn country back into the spotlight. But what did Iraq look like before the U.S. invasion in 2003? Often called the cradle of civilization due to its rich natural resources and cultural history, Iraq's borders were first drawn in 1920 and was quickly established as a semi-autonomous monarchy under the authority of the United Kingdom. The Muslim-majority country is home to Iraqi Kurds as well as the Shia and Sunni Islamic sects. The two major Muslim sects have long been politicized, including its invocation in the Iraq War. The country gained its independence in 1932 and in 1958 became a republic under the leadership of Abdul Karim Qasim. However, that was short-lived as the Ba'ath Party overthrew Qasim and took over Iraq's leadership. The party ruled the country largely under the infamous Ba'athist Saddam Hussein until its toppling by U.S.-led forces in 2003. Unfortunately, even before 2003, conflicts have played and defined much of Iraq's history, particularly under the leadership of Saddam Hussein. In 1980, Hussein declared war on Iran, a war that lasted eight years and ended in a stalemate, leaving over a million dead. And there were several other conflicts, unfortunately, in rapid succession. Iraq's rich historical legacy as an early beacon of civilization, trade, and cultural exchange, predominantly because of its central location in the Fertile Crescent between the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers, was further advanced by its national devotion to education and literacy. However, following years of war, crippling sanctions, and terror attacks, the country is working to regain its place as a regional heavyweight and a global actor.